Hey, it's Angel on Software. Given that I'm quite active on Snapchat as a developer, uh, I'm followed and I'm watched there by uh, many younger programmers, but not only younger programmers. Snapchat seems to gather more and more developers nowadays, which is cool. But uh, I try to help younger programmers on Snapchat. So it's, it's easy to communicate, it's easy to ask questions, easy to answer questions. And one of the questions I receive quite frequently on Snapchat is whether to choose Python or Ruby in terms of web development. Uh, it's a question that is hard to answer. It's a question that whatever answer I give, I'm risking that uh, I will be, I don't know, recommending a wrong choice. But I also don't like to give just the it depends answer. Obviously, it depends. But... Uh, Given that the question is very often framed in terms of the web development, I will try to give you my view on it. And my view on it is that both Python and Ruby are very nice languages. They are very similar. They are so similar that sometimes I think that the communities try to ignore each other because we are kind of the same. Uh, the differences in the Language syntax is minimal. There are some, like Python is based on indentations, which I personally actually like. I would like Ruby to be indentation-based. I think it reduces uh, a lot of the boilerplate code with the end statements. On the other hand, uh, Python has this, uh, in terms of syntax, Python has this concept of passing self. If you're doing some object-oriented programming with classes, you need to pass self as the implicit first argument. And I don't like that. I think it's like unnecessarily verbose. Uh, but other than that, the differences are not that huge. Um, maybe in Ruby, it's more true that everything's an object. In Python, you still have some functions which don't belong to any class or any object. But this doesn't create a huge difference. The metaprogramming uh, possibilities are similar. Maybe Ruby is slightly mm, easier with metaprogramming, but it has also this bad consequence that and Ruby, you can actually do bad things with metaprogramming. And then, uh, what else is here? Um, with Python, there is this community approach that there is always one way to do something, while in Ruby, the approach is that let's have as many ways as possible. So if you're if you are more into total unification, then Python might be a better choice for you. Um, in Ruby, it's more like freedom, uh, freedom-based, I would say. Uh, but okay, to the point, web development. So my view on this is as following. Uh, Python is, uh, is a broad language. It's a language of choice for many different needs. Like, for example, Python is very popular in numerical analysis. There is a NumPy library, which is very cool for that. Uh, Python is becoming very popular because of its importance in the artificial intelligence, in the machine learning. This is where definitely Python is a better choice than Ruby. But in terms, but it also means that if we assume that more or less the community of Python and the community of Ruby are similar in size, it may not be true, Python might be slightly bigger. But if we assume it's very similar in size, then it means that Python web community may be actually smaller than Ruby web community. Because in Ruby, it's all about Rails. And Rails is all about web development. So Ruby community is all about web development, which means the community is very web-oriented. All libraries, all gems, they even assume too much the mm, existing of the web, which is a problem on its own. But overall, it means that uh, the community, it's like everyone dealt with the same problems with web, while in Python, you still meet lots of people who don't have to deal with web or they don't like to deal with web. They deal with other things. And this detail, in my mind, means that if you are a younger programmer and you are looking for a community where it's easier to learn how to do web, I think Ruby would, might be a, slight, a slightly better choice. So um, if you like force me to answer this question, I would say for web development, choose Ruby. Uh, but like for example, for some broader choices, for bro broader needs, Python might be a better choice. And if you have any kind of AI interest, if you want to become uh, better at uh, programming some AI stuff, uh, which is very niche, but very important, then Python is definitely a much better choice. And I think in terms of popularity, they will both grow in long term. Uh, 
there doesn't seem too much competition, like uh, as big as Ruby and Python. So I think both the choices are very safe. But in terms of web development, I would have a slight suggestion to go with Ruby. Thanks for listening.